Hey folks, so I am leaving my house. In case you didn't know that driving is an indication of that. Um, there are fruit flies in my car, probably because of all the banana peels. Um, be surprised if you see one of those little buggers flying around. Um, I'm going to my sanctuary, the Double D. I'm probably also going to go get a sandwich because I don't think I'm going to go to Twin Kegs tonight, mainly because I uh, I'm ill prepared. Okay, I was up all night critiquing videos and watching the Daily Wire and um, I didn't uh, do any jokes so I just brought uh, this uh, a joke tub and uh, joke tub. Yeah. I didn't bring my keyboard because as much as I love to play the keyboard, I feel like I should challenge myself and not have that to fall back on. Because I mean, I can still sing. Uh, in fact, I, I usually write a lot of songs a cappella. I've been doing this since I was a child. And that's how God wants you to do it, you know? Um, you know, people in Church of Christ, they don't believe in musical instruments because they think that, um, you should sing for yourself, like from yourself, by yourself. Did you just see that? By the... <laughs> That's a canine unit too, man. Yeah, it is. I'm glad that he, he didn't notice that I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. Not that he could do much about it because he was in the other lane, going the opposite direction. But you never know. They might just whip around and try to take your ass down. All because they can. So. He didn't notice your camera either. Well, he wasn't paying attention. Most of the time they're not paying attention. See, that's the thing. That's... That's the bullshit. And then, see, I'm a paranoid person, and I think that's why I don't get in trouble. It's because I just like freak out about every little thing. And so I'm like, what if he noticed this? But like, my mom, I think that my mom is, is the one that has made me so paranoid. I thought it was just my schizophrenia, but it turns out it's my, uh, overly worrisome mother that is constantly filling my head with ideas that, you know, the government's going to find out about every little thing that I do wrong, you know? Like, just this camera up here. Like, she thinks that a cop is going to notice that because they're, they have nothing better to do than to just watch people from the side of the road and pay attention to like all of the devices that are on their dashboard um th that's that's pretty intense you know okay what does that say mosquitoes also know there's power in the blood <laughs> what does that mean that's religious i know it's religious it's on a motherfucking church billboard but i'm confused thing is if you eat blood or drink blood it it's completely sacrilegious that's why satanists do it did y'all know that well like supposedly like in the the hebrew bible or in the old testament like if you are caught eating or drinking blood whether it be from a human or an animal like you are to be cut off from your people 
that is unacceptable in the eyes of God. Um, but anyway. God, I just had sick thoughts in my head that aren't pleasant. I'm not going to repeat them. Because this is what it's like to have OCD. It, it's never fun thoughts. It's never happy thoughts. It's never, like, good, positive feel confident in yourself and confident in the world thoughts. <laughs> There's always shitty shit, shitty shit thoughts on repeat. Thing is, like, if I read a story and it's really, really sad and depressing, if I read a story and it makes me angry um, because it showcases a lack of morality or, you know, human corruption and all that, um, it's like that story will be on repeat in my head. Like, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. And I don't think that all these people that pretend that they're outraged over a lot of this shit that's happening, um, I don't think they really are outraged. I think that they want to act like they care because they think that it, it makes them look good or it makes them look informed. But I guess, I guess a lot of people, they, they just uh, go along with this, this crappity crap that the media sells them because they think it, I guess, they think it makes them smart or some shit. Like they, they think that, oh, they, they look like they care. You know, but I mean, to people like me that just laugh at them. Internally, I'm always internalizing this laughter because like you can't, like, I'm not that bad where I just like <clears throat> burst out laughing, you know, when a liberal says something stupid, but like, uh, cause I, you know, I've, I've always gotten in trouble for laughing, but I realized that the, the way to be the most effective with people that you disagree with is, you know, not to laugh at their position, not to just, um, make fun of them and call them dumb and <laughs> say they're not educated or they haven't done enough research. It's like, the best way to communicate is just to like listen to them, listen to them and listen to them and listen to them and then make your point. Don't do the, don't do this accusation thing because I mean, that's not just true about, um, having effective political discussions. That's just true in general, you know, like you shouldn't just insult people because you don't agree with them. Uh, so, anyway. It's 7.39. So, there's this mic that starts at 10.30, sign ups at 10. If I am actually there at the sign up time, like, I'll get a much better spot. The thing is, I usually show up late, and because I show up late, I get on last. And, uh, as much as I like not having a lot of people watch my set, because it feels more personal to me, it's like, I just, I realize that I should, you know, try harder and make my presence known to more people since I'm, I'm so good. I'm, I'm really not. I'm going to have a fucking joke tub. Like, how good can it possibly be with this stupid ass idea? You know? So, um, yeah, um, I was thinking of waiting to do this mic because, um, I get paid at like 8.30 and I was thinking I could drop off the money at my parents' house before I go off and do comedy. Um, I might do that, I might not. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but, uh, since it doesn't start until, like, 10, I figured that I would have time to do that, and also need to give my dad this birthday gift. I got him a $50 gift card at Home Depot, and apparently Home Depot, um, has been banned by a lot of well-meaning liberals because uh, the owner of Home Depot is a Trump supporter. 
Um, so <laughs> it's just gonna get crazier and crazier and crazier. Just buckle the fuck up, folks. Buckle the fuck up. Because if they're willing to deny that Baltimore is a complete shithole all because Donald Trump said it, Donald Trump could say that the sun is hot and they would find that shit racist. You know? He just said that because of the Africans. <laughs> it's just so funny. I mean, it's not funny, but it is funny. It's, it's hilarious. Like, I laugh at everything, though. I don't like going to do mics and not being prepared. Um, like, it just makes me nervous. But, I mean, it's always going to make me nervous no matter what. But, um, I should go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go in my sanctuary and get my giant-ass cup of coffee. I'll be back, though. Goodbye.